Breitbart headlines. Breitbart. Twelfth night, George Floyd protest slash riots widespread. Top editor resigns for, quote, Building Matter 2 headline. Video, Portland police dodge incoming projectiles. What coronavirus? Social distancing dies. Block parties break out among among the pandemic. They're showing a big thing of uh, Washington, D.C. in the mall. About 10,000 people are. Deputy officer and two others killed, shot in uh, California ambush. Deputy killed. Two other officers shot in California ambush. Woke journalists compare Antifa rides to D-Day landings. <laughs> yeah. Except <laughs> we're the ones getting attacked here. <clears throat> Watch. Thousands join Philadelphia protests organized by a socialist group. <laughs> Minneapolis mayor forced to leave protests for refusing to defund police. And by the way, it happened like about a couple hours after he was kneeling down and crying at the uh, at the coffin. He was actually crying tears. And then two hours later, they have they kick him out of this protest because uh, he said he wouldn't he was he wouldn't defund the police. They told him get the fuck out. They actually chased him out physically. Watch kneeling protesters kneeling pro. Protesters told to recite Revolution is a solution, not voting. So this is one of these deals where I'm not sure if they forced them or they asked them to do it. It says here they were told to do it. Kneeling protesters told to recite Revolution is the solution, not voting. Defund the police painted on the street leading to the White House. Watch, quote, fuck your curfew, thousands rally at New York City's Barclays Center. Report, George W. Bush and Mitt Romney won't support Trump re-election. <laughs> I'm going to say if he's re-elected, it's not a valid election. They're going to say it may come some uh, thing. This is, a, this is a really important one here, okay, watch. 1,000 protesters march under a digital sign that says, quote, outside with no mask, forget about it. <laughs> They're marching right under that thing really close with no masks. <laughs> okay. Um, that's not the important one I want to tell you, but anyway, yeah. J.K. Rowling's RIPS concept, biological sex is a social construct. It isn't hate to speak the truth. I want to see one of those gender blur things. I'm not sure. Jim Jordan says that Rosenstein just came to the swamp. Uh, bitch singer Rips Garcetti. All my artist friends in, in L.A. bought guns. <laughs> Sanford Dean quotes convicted cop killer Asada Shakur in memo to students. Activists use Floyd protests to promote voter registration. That's the one I was going to say is important. They're going around and they got they got they're, they're handing out the, the the ballots right there. They're going here, here, sign it right here. And I guess they got they got a thousand things signed during the um, you know the protests. So actually, you know, they're not supposed to be doing that. They're not supposed to be using mail-in ballots. So they're just going and getting some names, and they're getting the people to vote right now while they're hot about this election thing, you know, about, about I'm sorry, about, about the riot thing. Well, who do you think they voted for? You think they all voted for Trump, all those protesters? <laughs> NPR advises readers to decolonize their bookshelves by removing white authors. Hmm. Burning books, huh? Hmm. 1,200 plus health professionals sign a letter 
approving of the Floyd protests. Were those the same guys? Remember, um, they were they were they were really upset about people protesting the lockdowns. They, the the nurses they were lining up. They're going, oh, they can't do that. They're going to cause disease. And they're going to put us in danger. But now, twelve hundred of them signed a letter saying, oh yeah, it's okay to protest for Floyd. The nurses. I actually know a guy. His wife's a nurse, and she actually uh, just just used all of her uh, Facebook friends that were supporting doing the little protests around the Capitol building in Lansing. She blew off like 20 of her friends because she didn't like the idea that they were getting a little too close. So they might get sick and she's a nurse. She's, she's not even really in the... She, she does like liposuction and stuff like that. So I'm not even sure why she was even working. Anyway, I thought that was a, a elective uh, thing, procedure. <clears throat> New York City activists... If I want to burn this motherfucker to the ground, I will. Uber Eats offering free delivery from black-owned restaurants. Uber Eats. I must be. Uh, I must be one of those uh, like uh, you know the food delivery guys. Can't remember call, them, call it. Uber Eats apparently is one of those guys. Offering free delivery from black-owned restaurants. Black-owned. Okay. Let's put a little check on that one. Broncos support Black Lives Matter. Lead Denver protest march. Judge orders Denver police to limit use of projectiles, tear gas, at protests. I understand they made uh, tear gas illegal in, like, Minnesota. Dot, uh, dot, dot. But disapproving of lockdown protests. Must be some editorial kind of thing. Mayor Frey asks Trump for help after Minneapolis rioters caused millions in damage. <laughs> <laughs> New York City reopening. Governor Andrew Cuomo, we crushed the curve. <laughs> yeah, you did great, man. You murdered all your old people and you crushed the curve, man. <laughs> Superintendent says no more armed officers to protect school kids. What the fuck's that about? Superintendent, Superintendent says no more armed officers to protect school kids. Uh, let me click on that one. I was just going to go through the headlines. Let me I gotta figure out what that one's about. That's kind of weird. Okay, it says, Oregon Public Schools, Portland, Oregon Public Schools Supervisor Guadalupe Guerrero says he will no longer have armed officers in school to protect children. What is that? I don't know. Um, it's just, um, Pence says, um, Mattis is wrong about Trump. Authors, uh, quote, Antifa rioters are tech economies, college discards. And they got a picture of these guys, these fucking weird perverted guys with the tattoos in there and the things hanging from their ears and they're all white. Did you notice? That most of the real violent protesters, the guys that are the actual guys that are causing the violence and the destruction, are mostly white. Did anybody notice that? <laughs> AOC supports defund the police movement. She's a traitor. She should be hung by the neck until dead after she's tried for it for saying that. Nolte. See, Democrats want to abolish cops and confiscate our guns. So Nick Nolte must have said something about that. I'm not sure it was Nick Nolte, but okay. Hayward, how party embraced the four stages of ideological su subversion? California says film and TV shoots can restart on June 12th. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Sophia Bush pushes gun control 
among a mid mass riding and looting. <laughs> God. How can anybody push gun control right now, man? Come on! Who is Sophia Bush anyway? I can't believe that one. That's, <laughs> man, that's great. I can't believe that one. Nolte. Variety Editor-in-Chief Claudia Eller ousted for not being woke enough Bill Murray's son charged with assault on a cop. Kristen Bell, black Americans too busy trying to survive, so white people must end racism. <laughs> McCartney, saying nothing is not an option. Paul McCartney, you better shut the fuck up or you're going to ruin like 70 years of my respect for you, motherfucker. 50 years at least, 50, 60. I, I remember that, that night, the first night that uh, on the Ed Sullivan show when the Beatles came, man. Oh, so fucking cool, man. I couldn't believe that. We we were, we were watched every, all three. They were there. They played on Sunday night on the Ed Sullivan show. I think it's 7 p.m. or man. All three nights, three nights in a row, we, we were there. We, we couldn't wait. We were sitting by the television, man. Fucking awesome. So don't blow it, motherfucker. Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey to lead two-night town hall on racism in America. Bruce Springsteen demands systemic changes in law enforcement. Fuck you, asshole. Traitor. Bernie advisor, D-Day, largest Antifa operation in history. That's pretty obvious. It's the largest operation in anybody in history. Two Buffalo policemen are arrested for allegedly shoving an elderly protester. Did you see the video of that? This one this one guy, um, he stood up there. I don't have to say white or black. I'm just going to say guy. I don't know if you notice or not. If you look at all my reporting, I always say the guy. I don't ever say the white guy, the black guy, if I don't have to. Like even if you look at my videos, uh, like I was talking about the, the, the old folks home. I talked about it like four different times. And I just said the guy. I didn't even say he happened to be a black guy. That 20-year-old guy that started punching that guy in the head. I didn't even, oh, if you look at all my reporting, I didn't even say a black guy. That's, I don't care about that. I wish people would be like that. Don't see color. Why do you have to see color everywhere? Because we were taught to see it because it's a fucking, it's a fucking psyop, the whole thing. Can you believe how thick it's gotten? How people actually took the bait? They got that hook, it's, it's in their stomach already. The hook is in their stomach, man. <laughs> the hook's gone. Taco shop employees walk off job rather than serve police, police officers. Ohio teenager cooks, serves hundreds of meals to officers. Working protests, that's nice. They're just people, they're just trying to do their fucking job. I can't believe a taco shop thing. That's kind of aggravates me. Sheriff. Some agencies need to update training and improve supervision. <laughs> We're already there, man. We're already right exactly where we should be as far as, you know, the police not hassling any one group. It's already been the law for like 200 fucking years already. They know that they shouldn't do that. Come on. D.C. Police Chief expects largest turnout yet for Saturday protests. Great. That was last night. I think I can smell the smoke from here now. I'm in Detroit. <laughs> Watch. Agitators pose for picture with vandalized MPD car. <laughs> Bail revoked for attorneys charged with Molotov cocktail attack on NYPD. 
Oh, that's awesome. Bail revoked. Does that mean that they, that they couldn't make bail? Or they just let them go? I'm not sure. That's, that's kind of key. If they let them go, that's really bad. Bail revoked. I'm not sure what that actually means. I'll have to look at that one. Hang on. Bail revoked. Okay. U.S. Court of Appeals for Second Court ruled Friday that two elite lawyers accused of throwing a Molotov cocktail into New York City Police Department vehicle last weekend should not receive bail and must return to jail. Yes! Yes! That's justice, baby! Yeah! One of them was like the daughter of uh, some... Uh, what? The Blasio's daughter, wasn't it? Wasn't it Bill the Blasio's daughter? Well, she had that crazy with her, with her hair. These are, these are two different people. But that's cool. Yeah, justice, finally. Cool. Fraternal Order of Police, VP. Reforms like nationwide de-escalation training are needed. Fuck you. Buffalo Mayor, we're already there, okay. Buffalo Mayor, officers who resign, detail over shove suspension, quote, still have my trust. Okay. By the way, I, I reported earlier that I thought the whole police, the whole Buffalo uh, Police Department had resigned. I was worried the, the city would be burned by tonight. I was worried that they, they would go in get in and mess with the, uh, the, the, the generator in Niagara Falls and knock out the power of New York City and cause a complete riot there. Maybe it happened, maybe not, but apparently it wasn't the whole police department. It was 57 officers of the um, emergency uh, task force, the emergency activation force. <coughs> Bill Maher, blue, blue, wall of silence need to, blue wall of silence needs to end, whatever the fuck that means. Low-level riders in New York City will not face any charges. What? No. I don't know. I'll tell you, if you if you spray paint anything, you should be charged. If you did any physical damage, you should be charged. If you were just like, but if you see, the difference between a rioter and a protester, protesters, no way you should charge them. That's a right. God-given right to fucking protest this country. Yes. Anything you want to protest, fine. When you riot and loot, that's another story. Low-level rioters in New York City. Well, let me, let me see exactly what they mean by low-level. 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 New York City, the uh, rioters arrest for crimes considered low-level will not face any charges in, of after nights of rioting, looting, and setting fires. So what exactly does he mean by low-level? Um, his office will not prosecute any rioters who were charged with the crimes like unlawful assembly, or disorderly conduct. Okay, so all right, all right. So the, those are the guys that basically violated the court, the curfew, but they didn't, they didn't break or hurt anything. And they won't be charged. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. That's cool. That's cool. All right, that's good. <clears throat> all right. Um, your handy dandy survival to guide to. Life under social justice mob rule. I guess it's an editorial by this Nolte guy. I thought it was Nick Nolte. I guess it's this. I get apparently an editor named Nolte on this paper. All right, uh, let's go to international uh, photos. Clashes erupt at BLM London protests. Mounted police. Mounted police on horse. On horse. They knocked this guy off his horse. Uh, yeah. Uh, London uh, Churchill statue vandalized on D-Day anniversary. Okay, that's that's that, that's it. That's that's it, man. Fuck you guys for vandalizing that statue. Fuck anybody for vandalizing any kind of veteran, anything. You've no idea what you're doing. It's not like taking down a statue of General Lee. It's, it's defaming their entire life. Oh, okay, wait a minute. And the Abraham Lincoln statue, too, in London. I was just saying how bad it was that they 
fucked up the Lincoln Memorial. This stuff is all happening today here. So that tells me this is like the worst day in history. Because they, they keep going with it more and more and more. They're, they've gone beyond making a point, obviously. They've, they've gone crazy. <sighs> Looney DJ anniversary in Normandy among virus restrictions. I'm not sure what happened there or something weird happened, apparently. Paris, uh, fake police arrested for filming video to frame real cops as racist? Oh. That's one of these deals that you have to worry about when they, they start doing stuff like that. Actually, today I was shown a photograph by my girlfriend, Patricia Dickerson. All the links are all below. She, um... Showed a photograph of this guy, uh, what's his name, the, the cop, Derek, whatever his name is. And it actually is two different people, man. It's like the one photograph, he's got his hair like cut out. It's got like kind of a red, red tinge to it. Looks like a skinhead. And the other fo photograph was taken like the next day. All his hair is all, all grown in there. And how'd that happen overnight? And that might be one of these deals here as well. Paris, fake police arrested for filming video to frame real cops as racists. That's exactly what they could have done with that guy Derek, you know? Could have been fake filmed. Or it could have been they mind controlled the guy and put him out and got this other guy to actually murder the guy and they swatched, switched him back because he didn't look, this, didn't look like the same guy. Now, it doesn't have to be conspiracy. The guy could have just killed the guy straight up. He could have even been a, a racist, you know? And that's fine, but this stuff could happen. You remember, Je remember Jesse Smollett? Remember that? Remember how outraged everybody was about him? People, people already start marching, getting in the streets. You know, uh, he's buddies with Cory Booker and Kamala Harris. He's actually friends with them because they wanted in, they wanted to introduce a lynching bill. By the way, the lynching bill. They tried to pull that shit back again. Yesterday, they tried to slip in when nobody was looking. The lynching bill, again. And uh, Senator Rand Paul caught, his, caught their ass on it, and he called them out, and he goes, wait a minute, we're not going to pass this. This isn't about lynching at all. It's about if you injure somebody, or if you even say something to somebody, that's, that's, that's now considered to be a lynching crime. They're trying to recategorize everything. So there's various levels of this. These people that are doing this, they're all coordinated. This is a, this is a coordinated... Coordinated attack. The whole thing is a coordinated attack. And this is an example of what it what it could be. Smollett was a definite example of it. He definitely pulled that shit. Is anybody gonna is anybody gonna, gonna is anybody gonna disagree with me that Jesse Smollett tried to do this exact thing and he, he almost got away with it? I'm not a white nationalist or anything like that. I'm not a black heater, nothing like that. I just think everybody should be treated equal. That ain't happening. Macron government fears Black Lives Matter protests could spread riots across France. Duh! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> yeah! Pennsylvania Governor Wolf admits inconsistent to evaluate guidelines to protest. So, people are starting to Back off a little bit now. Gomert. Gomert. Restrictions show Americans more tolerant of big government than ever. I'm not sure what that means. Pelosi, okay? <laughs> if, we, if we want to open up the economy, we need to defe defeat the virus. What? What? She's talking about the virus now? She's actually wearing a mask here when she was in the, um, she was at that funeral and she wasn't wearing a mask there. Now all of a sudden she's got a photo up here. She says, if we want to open up the economy, we need to defeat the virus. I thought the virus was like, oh, that's, that's kind of weird that she's even talking about that. Anybody's talking about that at all anymore. This thing's pretty long, isn't it? 
fuck. Reddit core founder resigns from board, asks for a black replacement. Study children spend nearly much as much time watching China's TikTok as YouTube. I never heard of TikTok. I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> My whole life watching YouTube, <laughs> 18 hours a day. Pinkerton. How GOP can turn vote by app lemons into lemonades. Uh, into lemonade. So that's something to do with. Uh, the, the mail-in vote, and they're going to use an app to, to over, overcome something or something like that. Friday night riots. Uh, just stuff going on. NFL, we believe Black Lives Matter. Seattle bans tear gas. I, I said it was Minnesota. Yeah, it was actually Seattle. That's right. Paul, more people blame protesters for violence than police. What do you think? Of course, man. <laughs> Police aren't there to cause violence. They're there. <laughs> Woke Street. Black Lives Matter in Plaza in D.C. Yeah, they, they, they changed the name of it. They, made, they, made, they named the plaza from some, you know, whatever, Lincoln or Washington Plaza or something like that. They named it the Black Lives Matter Plaza. National Guard members look for a place to stay after D.C. mayor kicks them out of hotel? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Watch. Hundreds take a knee for George Floyd in Brooklyn. Public trust in local police drops, but only slightly. Fauci. Protests are a perfect setup for further spread of coronavirus. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought the, the other guys in the health department said that it was okay to do it. <laughs> so Fuji's like he's a hero, man. So, they, they, you know what? Well, him and Pulse here, they're, 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 they seem to be going back to the coronavirus now, man. Like a fallback or something. You guys don't have to worry about a fallback. You've already destroyed the fucking earth. You ain't gonna mean nothing to fall back to. You know, this is actually, the, you know what this is? This is these guys, they're, they're changing direction. They're redirecting now back to the fucking coronavirus. I think they're afraid that these guys have already gotten out of hand. The Kraken has been released. Reverend Bill Owens quote, civil rights movement hijacked by manipulative politicians? Yes. Video. Justin Trudeau heckled while taking knee. <laughs> Video. Justin, Justin Trudeau heckled while kneeling for anti-racism protests. Let me play that one real quick. That's going to be pretty good. They're saying stand up to Trump, stand up to Trump. <laughs> now Now he's now he's gonna now he takes a knee. He just took a knee. Trudeau just took a knee. Well, they, they're not really, they're not cheering them, I'll tell you that anyway. Okay, let's get this done with, man. It's taking a long time tonight, guys. Sorry. Paul. I'm sorry. Video, uh, girls bracelet drive 
raises over $20,000 to b help Minneapolis rebuild after riots. So they're selling these little bracelets and making money, like Kool-Aid or Girl, Sc Girl Scout cookies, something like that. Okay, uh, China news or international again. China to demolish Muslim cemetery in the heart of Ungar capital. Hmm, not sure why they're doing that. China's cracking down on religion. They fucking are. They've been cracking down on religion for like a hundred years. I'm not sure. North Korea, Pompeo's defense of Hong Kong quote nonsense, given racism in U.S. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got North Korea. They're saying, "Hey, Pompeo, yo, he's trying to defend Hong Kong." They're saying that's bullshit. Look at all the racism you have in your country, North North Korea. They're jumping on the propaganda wagon. That's pretty funny. Those guys, <laughs> they're the worst of them all. They don't have any. Uh, they don't have any of that stuff because they don't have racism because everybody's already been made a slave. They can't say anything there. If they had racism, they they kill them mid years ago. They're all purebred Chinese or, or Koreans, you know. <laughs> I am Korean. Remember that movie? Report Taliban chief may have died of coronavirus. Ah. Oh. Jihadis in Indonesia call for, quote, burning and robbing of Chinese businesses? Wait a minute. Jihadis in, Indo in Indonesia call for, quote, burning and robbing Chinese businesses. Jihadis Indonesia. Well, Indonesia is strictly Muslim. Strictly, strictly. So if there's Chinese businesses there... But the Muslim, they don't, they don't fucking burn and stuff like that, do they? I think they actually did that. Not, not typically. Well, they, they protest stuff. They don't go rioting and shit. I think they've been watching the fucking news and then about what these guys in Detroit are doing. They're, they're a little jealous. <laughs> they want to get some. They want some iPhones themselves, eh? Mm, locals. Northern Harbin, China. Suffering rise in coronavirus cases again. Oh, that might be wave two coming out. <laughs> All I have to do is modify the virus a little bit, and they can make as many of these new novel viruses they want to. Remember, I was talking about the viral load. Every time they do that, it will be just like it's a like it's a brand new coronavirus every time. They can do it. They can do it for as long as they want to do it. They've got the technology. You understand what I just said? They, the, the coronavirus itself was a modified from an old coronavirus, but that but the modification, the change in the DNA made it made it something called novel, meaning that nobody has ever been exposed to that particular configuration yet, and that makes it the that makes it very sensitive to viral load, and that makes it a dangerous weapon, and eventually people are going to get over it, like they have done now. They'll, they'll be herd immune eventually, but it wipes out a whole bunch of people in the meantime. But they can keep changing this configuration all they want. They'll, they'll, they'll click a few more things around, and it makes a new novel virus, and the same thing happens again. They, they got this in their back pocket. They can fuck up the entire world from now on, and they're going to do it. They're going to use this to fuck up everything. That's going to be their control arm. That's going to be their, their baseball bat, their baton to control us. Libya. UN backed government forces claim victory in surge of Tripoli. Surge of Tripoli? I don't know, there's even a war going on there. Well, Libya, that's where, you know, Obama went in there. He fucking took over the country. He fucked that. That was a nice country before. It wasn't like USA, but it was, it was a really nice country. He completely fucked up. He turned it into a parking lot, and they actually have slavery there because of because of what Obama did. That's one of those countries, like I was saying, the United States just fucks up all the time. All the time, excuse me. Remember Gaddafi? We came, we saw he died. Ha ha ha! Remember that? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, uh, fact check, fact check, hoax. Facebook relies on USA Today in turn to falsely fact check and restrict access to Breitbart's story. That's one of these little squabbles are having between the news organizations, between Breitbart and this uh, this guy here. I can't remember. Jeff Zucker. <laughs> okay, CNN's um, Cooper Anderson praises protesters for rank. CNN's Cooper praises protesters for risking getting COVID to quote redeem America. He's down with that. He's going, man. You guys are brave for risking getting fucking a a horrible disease. In order to redeem America. He's so proud. Oh, wait, wait, it keeps going. Okay, hang on. Whoa, there's even more to it. Da da da, da da da, then da da da, then scolds White House for not social distancing reporters' chairs enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, man. The, the level, the, the, they must think people are all fucking retarded and don't believe anything they say at all. I'm starting to believe it. Black conservatives reject media's racism, victimhood narratives. <clears throat> Washington Post op-ed demands ban on TV shows and movies about police. And they did it. They took down... Um, I was watching Douglas Dakota today. He was saying that they, you can't watch the, the, the show Cops or there's, there's two police shows. They took them off of TV. You can't, can't watch Cops on TV anymore. Okay? This is, so Washington Post op-ed demands that they ban it and apparently they went ahead and did that. Or maybe Dakota got the reporting wrong. Because he, he said they've already, they already, you can't watch them. He said they already took these shows off the air. Douglas, Douglas Dakota said that today. So maybe he just read this, uh, this headline wrong. Deep State TV, MSNBC hires disgraced former FBI lawyer Lisa Page as legal analyst. That's about bottom of the barrel. It's, it's as far down as you can get as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if you heard that or not. Uh, MSNBC, they hired Lisa Page as a, legal, as a legal analyst. Remember who Lisa Page is? Exclusive. Political bias. Martha McSally book blocked from New York Times bestseller. The book's called Dare to Fly. Simple Lessons in Never Giving Up. So they're blocking books and they're banning TV shows. And they're telling us to, to remove all the white author books from the shelves, all today. And if you'd have told me this ten years ago, I would have laughed. I'd say you're you're, you're kidding me. That's not possible. George Orwell is spinning so fast in his grave now that. They can actually hook, 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 hook his casket up to a generator. He could fucking power the fucking whole world. That's how fast he's spinning in his grave right now. Utah woman shot for allegedly pointing gun at police officers. Well, that's what happens when you point a gun at police officers. You get shot, okay? Yes. I'm down with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Even those kids that did it. That little boy that, yeah, yeah. You know it's a fucking gun, yeah. That's why you don't give your kids guns to play with. Toy guns to play with. And that's what happens, okay? To point at a police officer. Yeah, good thing. Now that, that, that you know, which, which kid I'm talking about, the, the one black kid that got shot. You have to say he's black, it doesn't mean anything. Dallas officers removed Texas Rangers statue from the airport. These are all things to, to hate the cops. Seven things I already said about that, okay? Rape victim dies from injury following brutal assault in East Harlem. Well, that's they, they rape people in East Harlem all day. 
Video, anonymous donor gives Florida Cafe $40,000 to stay open during the pandemic. So some rich rich guy down in um <laughs> forest uh, yeah I, I want to be uh, I want to make sure they're open when I when I want to go down and get my breakfast you know <laughs> ooh Detroit father of five loses home work fire work truck in a fire oh where's that hmm. three alarm fire destroys California Amazon warehouse that's a big one big one huge I wonder if that was arson. Exclusive VP team. Soros groups attack on Pence. Chief of Staff, quote, disgraceful hypocrisy. Biden blames George Floyd for delayed jobs plan. Claims he was, quote, held up against that curb. What does that mean? Biden blames... George Floyd for delayed jobs plan claims he was quote held up against that curb. I'm not even gonna look at but whatever he said he he, he he talks he doesn't know what he's saying. So I'm not sure what he means by held up against that curb. He, 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 he wanted to hold up to get his fucking milk is what he wanted, okay? MSNBC's Lisa Page A.G. Barr. Now, she's commenting already, you see? God. <laughs> she's, she's, she's got right to work, didn't she, man? Boy, first day of the job. A.G. Barr's actions endangering the frail rule of law. Fuck you! Shut the fuck up! I haven't even heard her speak yet. The first thing she says, this is what she's going to say? Well, that's MSNBC. <sighs> Don Trump Jr. thanks 82-year-old veteran for standing tough after he was beaten up for supporting Trump. That might be the, that might have been that guy with the flag. I'm not sure who that was. Maxine Waters, Maxine freaks. Remove Trump before this would-be dictator takes us all down. The James Brown wig. Um, there's a lot of fucking news today, man. Okay, Trump. No kneeling. Trump disappointed after Drew Brees apologized for defending American flag. Yeah, Trump. You tell us. Nobody kneels for nothing. For any cause. It's not the black. It's nothing. No, nothing. I don't care if it's fucking Hitler. I don't care what it is. You don't kneel for anything. You don't submit. You make everybody equal and proud. That's what you do. You don't breathe, make one group above or, or below anybody else. You don't kneel. You don't stand. You all stand equally. That's what we do. We're Americans. Black, white, brown, orange, pink. It doesn't matter. That's what we're about. You guys are fucking the whole thing up. Please stop it. Nobody's going to listen to me, but that's that's my opinion. That is my opinion of this uh, part of this report here, okay? <clears throat> Drew's, Drew Brees re, re, responds. Drew Brees responds. This is not about the flag. And he actually wound up apologizing. Goodall says NFL was, quote, wrong on player protests against systemic Oppression of black people. So Goodell was the one that told these uh, guys last year to stop taking a knee. Now he's going, oh, maybe I was wrong about that. Go ahead, take your fucking knees. You know? Jacksonville Jaguars hold protests against racism and equality and inequality. Boy, the sports guys are coming out of the, from under the rocks. No, don't do it. Don't, don't do it, Michael. Michael Jordan to donate $100 million to social justice cause. You see, these guys are ruining everything, man. They're all jumping on the bandwagon. They're all selling out. I guess we're gonna have to, we're you know when, when we actually gain our sanity and look back on this in ten years, we're gonna have to cut these guys some slack. These guys all went crazy and they were all sucked into the 
to the, the belief. It's just like what happened after 9-11 when everybody hated um, Saddam Hussein and bin Laden with, with a passion. They hated him. And uh, turns out that was not justified at all. But they, everybody went crazy and that's why we attacked Iraq. And they were just whipped into a frenzy. That's what I'm saying. So the, this all, all we, can, we can forgive some of this frenzy. I guess that's this. I can go on forever with this stuff. It just keeps going on and on and on. Michigan Supreme Court unanimously sides with 77 year old Barber over Governor Whitner. That's good. That's good news. Um, Las Vegas casinos reopen. Uh, I just wanted to get back to that one report that really bothered me. The one that was the one they're talking about um, promoting. Um, Taking affirmative actions to uh, recover the economy. I'm having a hard time talking at this point. To have economically recover the small businesses, but they want to give the money to people of color. I don't think that's right. I think that's discrimination, reverse discrimination. You shouldn't be doing that. No way. They're doing all this stuff. It's all targeted to white people. I don't know why. This, isn't that racist? Isn't it? Wow, that was a long report. 7th of uh, June 2020, Martin Lawrence from Livonia, Michigan. 46 minutes.